Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. I had to bring out the ducks for this one. Okay, these don't look like little yellow rubber duckies, but these happen to be from a company. It's called, oh, wait a minute. Is it from the Big T's? Um, this is a Rum My Ducky and a waterproof body massage. But the reason we're bringing out our duckies, sorry they're not yellow, but you know, they do have boas on them, pink and purple. Um, and because now they're saying Obama's a lame duck president. What do you have to say about that? I think they quack. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring a lame duck president. That's usually what happens in the second term of a president, right? Anyway, we're going to bring all Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, that's what they said this morning. The Republicans are so, okay, they are going to, they're targeting five Republican senators from a Republican states for not supporting gun control. They said that the polls are horrible against five Republicans from states that are basically really believe in gun rights for not supporting, at, uh, taking away gun rights. First of all, a lot of people, like I said, I love my guy last night, the guy doing a poll this morning, he said it's got to be the most fascinating thing you ever heard of. That states well known for basically firing guns in the air at every, you know, if the football team wins, boom, boom. You know, if, they, if the football team loses, boom, boom, they blow things up. Well, we're going to remove them from office if they don't vote to stop that. Mm -hmm. he said, that's, you know that that's a phony poll, the guy said. For it also, he said, what are they going to replace them with? Five other Republicans who believe in gun rights. Mm -hmm. And Obama is to attack a Re Republicans over immigration while in Mexico. Okay, this one, this one, Herbie, you know, this is Herbie Daddy. He said that it, 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 as uh, we're talking really liberal senate congressman said this has got to be one of the most stupid things that the president has done yet and they want to know okay they said since the president's election he had done nothing right going to mexico to complain about the republicans not voting to give people that are illegally here from mexico uh, all the money they want they said uh, they said they don't know what he thinks he's doing i mean uh and they asked we got the duck but they asked Carney about that this morning. Doesn't the president understand going to the country where all the people are flooding into, flooding out of into the United States and then saying that we're not granting them the benefits they should be getting? Bring out the duck. They, uh, <laughs> know, well, somebody said that. Well, Bring out the duck. He said what it did, the president once again, uh, he, he said the president currently thinks he's Hubert Hum Humphrey and that we, the Democrats, are forming a circle and they're all shooting themselves in the foot because then we had gun control until he got involved. We had immigration until he got involved. We had this on the budget until he got involved. He said that uh, he said that what happens is is when he's losing, he gets involved. If he's if he thinks he's going to win, he doesn't give a rat's ass. But if he's losing, he comes in and makes it worse. Mm -hmm. And let's see, Lockheed CFO sees bigger impact from budget cuts in second and third quarters. Yeah, because the first quarter had to do with Obama trying to get reelected, so he pumped tons of money into things. Right now, okay, uh, okay, yesterday you're going to love this one. The Obama administration for four years has said that the monetary policy has had nothing to do with the economy booming. Yesterday, they basically well, our policy, monetary policy had nothing to do with it. Monetary policy now has everything to do with it. They said, heads it does, heads it doesn't. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they're trying to claim victory that by saying that, yo, know, it's an artificial economy pumped up by government spending. And when the government stops spending, the economy is going to totally collapse. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, we have to keep spending to keep the economy going. Uh -huh. That's and, stupid, isn't it? And Reed set to push for conference on budget. Now, when it's not, they're going to have a conference on the budget that's going nowhere because the Democrats own. The Democrats' idea of handling the budget is to increase taxes and increase spending, but cut the military, and that's basically their cuts. It, it's not going to fly because 12 Southern senators that are up for re election depend upon military spending in their state for the states to survive. And gold sell is not a priority, Cyprus Finance Minister. Well, uh, I know, but it is a priority because that's basically what backs up virtually all the currency in the universe. And Ibia, or, or probably Libya, car bomb wounds French embassy guards? Yeah, that would let me because um, uh, basically it is not safe to be in virtually any Muslim country anymore. Now, here's the problem is, 
if you take your everybody out, you basically are penalizing yourself because you have no way of knowing what's going on because they actually do kill the people over there that tell the Americans or the French or the Germans or the British or Russians what's going on. And at least 23 killed as Iraqi forces raid a Sumi camp. Yeah, they said that uh, the more we pull out, the more violence is happening in Iraq. They assume that when we pull out, there's going to, Iraq and Afghanistan are both going to be in total civil war. And when it's in total civil war, Obama gets what he wants, but not the way he wants it. He, he actually firmly believes that, that when, the reason why there's problems is because we're there. No, the reason why we have problems is because the people that he won't admit are terrorists are there. And Italy's Napolitano accelerates search for new government. Yeah, because they, okay, here the trick is, they, they booted Boscani out and then put, a gov, put another person in to be head that basically cannot hold a vote because if he holds a vote in their parliamentary government, the government falls and guess who gets to come back in as the head of the country again, the guy that was booted out. Ooh, and Iran offers to be the West a reliable partner in the Middle East. Yeah, so it, 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 we, there are no partners in the Middle East anymore, except Israel. Uh, I love they say reliable partner. Israel, okay, Israel is only a reliable partner as long as they don't let Obama know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they're not a reliable partner. And Russia <laughs> studying the U.S. missile defense moves and still seeks guarantees. Uh, yeah, the, uh, here's... Obama, oh, 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 Herbie Daddy said, this man wants the Russians to man the defense systems that we would give. He wants to pay them to man the systems to keep them from killing us with their missiles. This is his idea of brilliance. Mm -hmm. It's his foreign policy. Well, if we put them in charge of everything, they won't abuse it. Mm -hmm. Well, his, he, he, when he grew up, he, he was a firm believer that Neville Chamberlain was right when he said peace in our time. In Canada, train plot suspects in court to fight charges. Well, they're all fighting charges. I mean, like the three guys that basically, I'm going to tell their lawyers and the people on the left something very specific. There is called charge after the fact. If they were involved in the crime after the fact, under the law, they are guilty of the same crimes that were committed. So therefore, they did not have to commit the crimes to be given a death penalty. And the death penalty in Massachusetts, they won't, but the feds basically have a death penalty. And Obama is not going to be able to shield all of these Muslims from that anymore, folks. And Libya car bomb hits French embassy and wounds guard. Oh, she likes that one. Oh, well, okay. Crossing Obama's red line on Syria will require concrete evidence. Ex Bin Laden, Secretary gets life for 1998 embassy bombings roll. Well, there's two together. Okay. The oh, is that, one, I thought so. Is, I know. The first one is is that Obama is never going to send military in to fight Muslims again. That's not going to happen when he's president. Because he basically, I mean, I would, okay, I don't care if the guy's a Muslim. It's just if he should come out and simply tell people he's a Muslim. And the second one, uh, what was that? A second Ex Bin Laden secretary it, gets life. Okay. How are they trying this guy when they toss one of his relatives out as having nothing to do with it? When you know that his, I think his, his son had everything to do with it, folks. I know, and this is an ex Bin Laden secretary gets life? Yeah, but his son basically, well, we're going to have to let him loose because he didn't know what was going on. Yeah, he just his right hand man. And anger on streets as Bangladesh building toll passes 300. Uh, you've been to Bangladesh? I, I, it's a floodplain, for Christ's sake, folks. It's a piece of ground that India and Pakistan used to use to grow crops in, and they moved a zillion people. Uh, and it's basically a more people that are in Bangladesh than I think are in Pakistan now on a floodplain, which means the ground is not solid. You I mean you have to go so far to bedrock to, to hit, you know, to hit bedrock that you can't build structures that are any good. So. You can be angry all you want. It's called don't live on a floodplain. Mm-hmm. And fire kills dozens in Russian psychiatric hospital. Yeah. And the police department is basically... Oh, they, okay, here's the trick is. Police officers tend to be the same all over the world. They want to know why it happened and why the rules weren't obeyed. And good police officers... I mean, I was in um, a movie called The Generals where a police officer started an investigation against... Uh, uh, a, a Nazi general, and that investigation co continued, and they were trying to find that guy. He was killing people uh, and getting away with it, 
And so the investigation just kept going on through the Nazis, through the French, through the Germans, through the United Nations, through the Americans. They never stopped. They just kept handing the information over to other officers until they got the guy. And this is what will happen there, too. They'll get who is responsible. And a Monty bubble is in front of the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, you, you, this one should work. That um, This is from the oh, oh, Monty Bobman. From, he said specifically that... Just because you got elected doesn't mean you actually knew what you were doing. 